Welcome to the next session of ANSYS Workbench Tutorials. In this session, we are analyzing a composite cylindrical wall for transient thermal analysis. We have already analyzed a plain cylindrical wall for the same analysis type. So let's start this analysis. We will double click on transient thermal. Since it's a composite wall, I need two material. So I'll go to engineering data, engineering data sources, general materials. I will choose two material. Structural steel is already chosen. So let me choose copper alloy. I'll go back to project, update project. Next, I'll go to geometry and right click. New design modular geometry. Units, I'll choose millimeter, XY plane, look at. I'll go to sketching circle. I'll give it some dimension. Say it is 80 mm. Extrude. Say the dimension is 25 mm. Generate. I'll choose this face, new plane. Generate. Then I'll click on look at. I'll go to sketching and choose a circle. Now I'm making one circle inside and let's give it dimension. Say the 60. Extrude. Now I am making an extrude cut over here such that we can create another circle inside over here now this is done so on this face i will create another plane generate look at i go to sketching and choose circle i'll give it dimension same as that of the inner one it is 60. now i'll extrude and add frozen so that I can give a, a different material to the inner circle and I'm going to choose the direction as reversed generate you can see here this is a composite cylinder the outer one will have a particular material and the inner circle will have a different material now if you want you can again create one more cut over here and create another cylinder of this by the same technique I am leaving it to two cylinders only. Next, I will go to model and double click on it. I will first go to mesh. I will right click and insert method. I will select the entire geometry. Apply. I'll choose method as hex dominant and update. You can see the mesh here. Now I want to make it a little more finer. So I'll go to sizing and change the relevant center to fine. Update. So you can see here, this is an unstructured mesh, but you can see the amount of meshing that has been done on this surface, on this surface and on this zone. Here you can see the mesh is more finer and here it is more coarse. Towards the interface, you can see it has become more fine and the number of elements are more. So this is how meshing is done. Next, I'll go to analysis settings. I will change number of steps to 15. I want to run the analysis for 15 seconds. Next, I am going to insert convection on this inner surface or the inner body, I would say. This material, 
I'm going to change. So we just go to geometry and change this material to copper alloy. For copper alloy, this film coefficient value will be 65. I'm also going to insert radiation on this face. Say the emissivity value is 0 0.2. You can see here the ambient temperature is 22 degrees Celsius. And for convection also it is 22 degrees Celsius. So now let's go to initial temperature and give it some value. Say the value is 150. Next I'll go to solution and I'm going to insert the result for temperature over this entire body. You can see here geometry is showing all bodies which means I'm going to get the result for both the cylinders. I'll now go to solution and solve. You can see here, it took around 28 minutes 7 seconds to run this analysis. Generally, I do not show you in the videos because it is not possible to show such a long time. So you can just check over here how much time has elapsed between starting to solve it and by the time your analysis ends. So I'll just click on temperature and this is how the temperature profile looks like for this composite wall. Now we are going to add few more analysis to it. So I'll add total heat flux and I'll add directional heat flux. Now the direction as you can see should be from this end to outwards. So this direction if you see is the x direction. So I'm going to leave it to x itself. I'll go to solution and solve. Now this has not taken more than 5 to 6 seconds. So now I will go to total heat flux and you can see here this is how the total heat flux would be for this composite wall. Here this is minimum and maximum value so I will just uncheck the minimum value. I want to see the result of maximum value. This is the heat flux over the time that we are calculating. And this is the direction heat flux. Again, I'll uncheck the minimum value. So I can see the variation over here. So this is how you analyze for a composite cylinder. You can add more variations to it by giving a convection coefficient to the outer surface. You can give some radiation on these faces. And that's how you can analyze them. You can also add more cylinders and more materials to it and see what would be the result. So there could be a various variations possible in this cylinder. With this I end the session. I hope you have understood how to analyze a composite cylinder for transit thermal analysis. If you have any doubts please write to me in the comment section. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for latest video updates. See you in the next session. Thank you.